Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you on how to manage your hotspot user based on bandwidth and priority. But first let me show you my current network setup, my ISP modem, then my MicroTik router, with local area network of 192.168.28 that's 0 slash 24 and my hotspot network address is 192.168.2.0 slash 24 this is my outdoor access point connected on port 4 of my microfic router this is my switch hub connected to port 2 of my microfic router now I will go to the next slide. These are the device or software that we are going to use in this tutorial. We will use the user man as a third party software to generate voucher. You can download the user man on the link below this one and a Microtech router with hotspot configuration. Outdoor access point. You can also use the built in Wi Fi interface of your MicroTik router. We will now go to the next slide. Let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is to create a user profile for BIP and regular users. Let's go to IP, Hotspot, User Profile. We will make a profile for BIP and regular users. The next thing we're gonna do is to make limitation for each profile. For BIP user, we will make a rate limit of 1 megabit slash 2 megabit. This first value represents the 1 megabit upload and 2 megabit download for max limit. The next value represent bash limit the next one is bash threshold bus time priority the limit at value Apply. And for regular users, we will make 512 kilobit upload and 1 megabit for max limit and 256k kilobit for 256 kilobit for upload and 512 kilobit download for limit. This is how to do it. 512 kilobit upload 1m for download for bus limit we'll make it zero bus threshold bus time priority is eight And the limit at value 256 512. Okay. Now we will generate a voucher for BIP and regular users using the user man.
Henry Spot BIP user This is for BIP users Bandwidth limitation group Select BIP one day or one hour then comment I recommend you to put the date and the kind of user for this tutorial I just make two user We are done creating users for BIP. Now let's create a user for regular. Bandwidth limitation group, regular. Comment You can also make a data limit for every type of user. I will make a limit for our regular users. Let's go now to the last slide of this tutorial. In this slide, I'm going to make a dynamic QoS for hotspot users. First, we need to create a parent queue for our hotspot users. Use, then add. We will name it Hotspot Users and then the target is my Hotspot Network 192.168.2.0 slash 24 For this tutorial, I will set the max limit upload to 5M and download to 10M and OK then the next thing we are going to do is to set the parent queue and queue type for BIP and regular users. Go to IT, hotspot, then we'll set the Parent queue and queue type for BIP. Hotspot user. Then the queue type is hotspot default. You can use anything that you want, but for this tutorial, I use hotspot default. We do the same for regular users. I'm going now to test the result of what we have done on this tutorial. I will now try to log in 
for BIP and regular users. As you can see, the dynamic queue was created as child queue of hotspot user. Let us now verify if the assigned bandwidth and priority has been applied on this queue. For BIP users, we have 1M upload and 2M download for max limit, burst limit is 3M and 5M, burst threshold 2M for upload, 4M for download, burst time is 8, then the priority is 6. And the limit at value is 512k upload and 1m for download. For regular users, we have 512k upload and 1m for download for max limit. Priority is 8. Limit at 256k and 512k. We also notice the queue type that we use for this child queue has been applied. That's it guys for this tutorial. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.